David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another review. Uh, I have said this many times previously, but I enjoy discovering new companies and items, and today I will be talking about a product from one of those recent discoveries, Popoff Leather. A while back, I was contacted by Ryan Popoff, the gentleman behind the company, and he asked if I would care to review something from their site. Uh, I did check out the site and noticed something that I was actually in the market for myself, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to check this item out. And what was that item? It was a leather Hobonichi Techo cover. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the pop-off leather Hobonichi Techo cover, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, uh, as well as discuss my general feelings after using a Hobonichi for the last nine months. Uh, thanks go out to Pop-Off Leather for providing this cover for review. Uh, to begin with, just a little background on the company. Uh, Pop-Off Leather was founded by Ryan Pop-Off. Uh, back in 2013, he took up leather working as a hobby with the goal of creating a simple leather wallet. Uh, after a lot of trial and error, he was able to create something that he was pleased with. Uh, he posted his design online and discovered a lot of other people cared for the design as well. So Pop-Off Leather was born. And the company has since grown to have a team of folks creating a wide variety of high quality handmade leather goods. So in order to take a look at one of their creations, please join me over here at camera two. So here is the Hobonichi Techo cover from Pop-Off Leather. Uh, this was really good timing for me. I had been looking for a cover for my Hobonichi for a while. Um, there's a lot of thicker covers out there with pockets and room for lots of extra stuff, but I was looking for something as compact as possible. Uh, when I started using this Hobonichi at the beginning of this year, I held off getting a cover because I wanted to wait until I determined if I really enjoyed using it before investing in a cover. Spoiler alert, since I was shopping for a cover that pretty much gives away how I feel about these books, but I'll discuss more about that here in a bit. This cover is made from a high quality leather. Um, it's available in four different varieties. There is driftwood, black, heritage brown, and English tan. The English tan is what I have here. Each variety is available with three different complementary stitching color options, which vary between the models. Uh, this here is the tan stitching, uh, and it's high quality stitching as well. I kind of like that it's a little bit thick. Uh, that you could tell here by all the marks and scratches that I've already gotten some decent use out of this cover. And I kind of like how the leather gets beat up over time. Uh, I feel it adds to the character. Uh, no other notebook will look just like this one. Um, for a small additional fee, you could actually have something engraved here on the front. Uh, and you can see here it says Fig Boot. Uh, that it's a high quality engraving that I don't feel will tatter or wear over time, uh, which is nice. Uh, for no additional cost, you can have pen loops added. Um, the loops serve, serve dual functions. I mean, they hold the pen, uh, but then they also keep the cover closed. Uh, now, these loops here are elastic, but I believe that all the loops Pop-Off are doing now on their uh, covers are leather, which is a good thing. Um, when I first got this cover, I was looking for the right pen to carry around with it. Um, I wanted to use a, a ballpoint or a rollerball so that I would never need to worry about ink or anything like that, and it would just always write, no matter how much I throw this around. And I started by using this tactile turn slider. Um, I just love of the Damascus steel on this slider. Um, it makes for some great patterns, especially here on the section. Uh, Will Hodges, the man behind Tactile Turn, sent this pen to me to check out on loan. And after getting my hands on it, I basically told him, dude, you're not getting this back. Just tell me how much you want for this. And I purchased it. Um, while I love fountain pens, there are times like for this cover where you just need a ballpoint or a rollerball. Uh, now, the issue I experienced was that this pen actually has grooves all up and down it. That's kind of the distinctive feature of most tactile turn pens. And the problem was uh, that 
by repeatedly putting it in and out of these loops um, that it started to fray the end of this uh, elastic. Not a ton, but just enough for me to realize that I needed to use a different pen uh, with this cover before it caused too much damage. So I switched over to this Retro 51, uh, which is called The System and was a Duduk Modern Goods exclusive. I believe these are currently sold out. Who knows? Maybe you'll have a different version available at a later point in time. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier with the leather loops uh, that these covers now come with, uh, anywhere that like I experienced on here should not be an issue. Uh, on the inside cover, there are a couple of pockets for business cards or anything else that you'd care to put in here. Uh, and the back cover is just blank. Uh, I, you know, I rarely keep anything in here because the main feature that I was looking for in a cover was thinness. And you can see here that this cover is relatively thin uh, and really doesn't add a lot of bulk to this A6 Hobonichi. Um, the cover does do a good job of lying flat. Uh, now, when I received this cover, the main issue that I had was actually getting the Hobonichi to fit in here. Um, it was very tight to get the front and back covers in here inside these flaps. So much so that I thought that there might be something wrong. Uh, included with the cover, however, was a little card. I don't have it anymore, but uh, it, it was a card that actually said, hey, it might be a little tight, but with use, loose uh, with use it should loosen up a bit now i will say that the back cover now does have a little bit of play in here um, but the front cover is a little bit on the tight side um, at times it can cause this cover to kind of have a little kink in it like you say like you see right here um, now i find if i kind of play with it a little bit then i could get that kink out or something to where it's a little bit more straight uh, now this hasn't caused any damage or anything at all to the uh, to the spine or anything like that and hopefully the front cover will loosen up a bit like the back cover has okay a couple of words about my about my feelings for the hobonichi techo itself um, at the beginning of the year i really committed to giving myself this thing or to giving this thing an honest shot and i have to say that i quickly grew very fond of it um, i mainly use it for my daily to-do list you can see here all the things that i need to do on these individual specific days um, i find it's been a helpful tool to keep me more organized uh, like earlier in the year i was actually trying to lose some weight and I was keeping track of my progress in these pages I actually lost close to 17 pounds in just a couple of months uh, but then it got really hard uh, and I kind of plateaued and it became more difficult to lose weight and I actually slipped back into some old habits and basically gained back just about everything that I lost uh, you know I'm not giving up though I plan to rededicate myself to dropping a few more pounds and and this time uh, no giving up even when it gets a little bit hard hard. Um, as a whole, I'm really loving this Hobonichi. Um, it's become a vital part of my everyday carry items. And you know what arrived in the mail this week? My 2020 Hobonichi Techo. Uh, and I look forward to filling up this one as well. Okay. The pop-off leather Hobonichi Techo cover retails for $64, which I feel is a very reasonable price for what you receive. Um, it's a high quality leather good that I will use on a daily basis for years to come. Um, I really enjoyed this cover as well as the Hobonichi itself. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out this cover on the pop-off leather site, uh, as well as the rest of their offerings. Um, if a Hobonichi Techo interests you as well, I would recommend picking one up from your retailer of choice sooner rather than later. Uh, these are made in limited quantities each year and they do sell out. Uh, the, uh, the techos, that is, not the covers. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.